we now move to database relational model uh, the things that we want to look here is the relational model concept alternative to relational model application implementation sql and relational model set theory fundamental in additional to that we look at extended relational model expression like relational algebra uh, the set operator and join so uh, the set operators would be like union and the algebra would be uh, the same kind of things that we do so this came into being by Ed edgar cord 1969 he was working in ibm and he developed this relational model uh, which was used in db2 ibm in in the very beginning so uh, uh, the idea here is to use object uh, role modeling uh, and and other things that that came into being the uh, uh, the model here is that uh, the fundamental assumption of the relational model is that data is represented as mathematical n array relation and relation being subset of cartesian product of n domain mathematical model reasoning such data is uh, done in uh, two valued predicate logic means there are two possible evaluation for each proposition either true or false uh, data are operated uh, by mean of relational calculus or relational algebra those being equivalent in expression of power the relational model of data permits data by design to create consistent logical and uh, Uh, representative of innovation consistency is achieved include declaration constant uh, theory uh, includes a process called database normalization with a certain desire that uh, we could uh, uh, make some logical equivalent alternative the access planes and other implementation are handled by dms engine uh, the contrast with common practice sql in which uh, we perform tuning requires change to logical model the basic relational model block in the domain order type usually abbreviate nowadays to type a tuple is an un unordered set of attribute values an attribution is an order of pair the relational model consists of head and a body a head is attributes a body is an n array of n tuples the heading of relation is called the heading uh, uh, of each uh, tuple so uh, we have n tuples uh, the whole idea here is uh, to make sure that uh, we we actually use the data in a more systematic way so the body of the relation is sometimes called extension this is because it is in pairs representation and uh, let's look at the databases so again at the databases we will uh, look at the relational model now sql and the relational model uh, uh, the duplicate row same ray uh, row can appear in sql the tuple can appear more than one uh, anonymous column duplicate uh, column number so this is something that could uh, that actually happens in sql but uh, that should not be happening so there are few things here which is set theoretical foundation so the whole idea was so since everything is in a set theoretical formulation we will use uh, the set theory we need to understand how things are uh, defined here in uh, in this ways so when when we start at it uh, we look at uh, something called a tuple which is a partial function of attribute names uh, to atomic values we have the header is a finite set of attribute name projection the projection of a tuple on a finite set is ta is equal to av av belongs to t and a belongs to a. so the relational tuple is uh, tuple h comma v where h is header b is the body and relational universe u over the header is a non empty set of uh, relations with head the relational scheme hc consists of header c and predicate cr that is defined for all relation h and r now key constraint and uh, functional dependency is one of the simplest and most important time for relation constraint key constraint it tells that uh, tuples can be assigned certain values so super key is written as a finite set of attribute name then we have candidate key functional dependency trivial functional dependency closure armstrong axiom uh completion irreducible cover so a bit uh, mathematical but the idea is that uh, uh, you can have these kind of things there so functional key and dependency and these are important because when we move ahead uh, we'll try to segregate and logically link data based on keys and their relation so additional extended relation uh, relational algebra operation uh so this language is used to manipulate the data in the mo uh, data model the language uses a set of operators that are applied in two relation input and produces a new relation output 
in in the relation algebra expression you have unary operation which operates on only one relation binary operation which uh, operates on two relation and then you have select uh, in this symbol and this is used to select particular rows from two relation syntax is uh, table name condition so a uh, sigma dependent uh, sex is equal to female and you will get the uh, following table uh, you can uh, add this with uh, uh this function which is and or, or so this would happen when both of them are true and you can also use the same select with uh, greater than or smaller than select manager it is equal to from department so that would still do it then you have project it is used to display list attributes defined in r so this is pi pi for project and the table name and then we have uh, again the pi for employees So as the name uh, suggests, by it means project, sigma means selection. The names are uh, taken which starts with the same number. So this is your table name, and these are uh, what you want to do. So uh, uh, display is something different than or project is uh, something different than that. So a project is by, and then you have got the select. Then you have got the union in the relational algebra. and when you apply union you get a combination of both of them and intersection this is the same as in one diagram that uh, we do and then we have the cross product a set difference and uh, renaming then we have got the joins this are again very important so joins are used to combine information to relation having at least one field in common in most of them are the simple join operation can define as cartesian product followed by selection and process operation different is conditional join equivalent join not not uh, Conditional join. This join returns a relation that includes a set of rows, rows from the cartesian product of two relation A and B such that each row satisfies a given condition C, and this is the given condition. If you see that uh, these are cross and and then you have C written on the down side, uh, join B A and B and uh, is equal to performing cartesian product, and thus it is uh, sigma of A into B. then you can do the join then you have equi join it's the same conditional join the difference being equal to operator is being used so again you join based on equal to then we have natural join this is the default join no conditions specified now you come into cartesian product two relation of common field cartesian product uh, again the symbol is the same then you have outer join in this case you join operator which considers the null value general join operation perform cross product equal apply certain join condition itself rows and column satisfy the given condition but the outer join allows you to select rows Uh, which are uh, common and even rows which are not satisfy any condition so uh, the other part was that you have at least one thing in common but uh, uh, you can also have something that is not in common so uh, th that's how that would work so left join will list join which are column both tables and unmatched rows so if 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 you go there and if you join things there you can still join so if you have got department and uh, project and uh, you uh, perform join operation the result uh, would be as follows uh, the the thing that's common between both of them is uh, the p number uh, when you use the left join uh, all rows which are common to both tables and match is specified on the left hand side so the left outer join result that have common rows for both tables and also which does not match the table so you can see this it in, in here you did not get that and here you get that then you have the right join uh, uh, Again, uh, the same idea. Uh, Join the same, but only difference is unmatched rows. Second table are listed with the common rows of both tables. So, uh, in in earlier part, you uh, the data that is common remains the same. But uh, based on whether you want to take something on the left, it is not there on the right. Right, which is not in the left, you can actually join that. So that's uh, the left and the right. And then you have full outer join. Then you have division. uh the division is a customer product upon product id and then you have got the summary so uh, the the main idea that you want to understand here that this is a mix of some statistical process and some joining process based on some logic now you want to play around with the data to make it more structured and more useful so cross product all tuples of relation uh, plus all tuple of relation equi join is same as conditional joins but you have to use equal joins are used to combine information of two at least one period common outer join is a join which considers null and then you have got the right and the left join 